Hello and welcome to Paris, the French capital known as the city of love. And it's a city where the streets overflow with history, culture and beautiful architecture. And for a 15th year, we're here at the Stade de Coubertin for the Yonex French Open, the last of four Super 750 events on the HSBC BWF World Tour. And this is the magnificent World Tour Finals trophy of the HSBC BWF World Tour Finals, scheduled to take place in Guangzhou in December. Well, it's quarterfinals day here today, and this afternoon we have four matches in the second session of the day. We're starting with the only home interest left in the tournament. The European Championship silver medalist Tom Gikel and Defel De De Del Rue of France up against Kusharianto at Kusuma Wati of Indonesia. Then it's Ben Singles and Naru Oka looking to reach his second semi final in two weeks is up against the 2019 beaten finalist Jonathan Christie. Then it's a second men's singles and the world and Olympic champion, beaten finalist here 10 years ago, Victor Axelsson, the number one seed, up against the former world champion, Lo Ken Yu of Singapore. And then we finish with women's singles and two former world number ones, Rachino Kintanon, the former world champion, in her ninth quarter final here, is up against Tai Su Ying, the 2017 winner and two time finalist. So a great lineup for the second session as we look at the mixed doubles draw. And you can see that the top half of the draw, the European champions Lansfus and Lohau have come through in three games against last week's beaten finalists Feng and Huang from China. The former champions Chen Shiwei and Wang Yaxiong uh, they won the title here in 2018. They are the reigning and three-time world champions. They are also booked their place in the semi-final. So this afternoon's and this evening's matches will see the bottom half of the draw, and we're concentrating on the home interest. Tom Shikel and Delphine Del Rue. Only four seeds, as you saw, at quarter-final stage. We only started with six seeds, though. We lost one seed in the very first round. That's the former world champions and the current world number ones. Huavaranukro and Teurat Tanachai. Down to five seeds by the second round, and as I was saying, four seeds by quarter-final stage. So I'm Jill Clark, delighted to say that sitting alongside me is former Danish head coach, Dean Peterson. Well, is this a chance for uh, the French combination of Giquel and Del Rue to really stamp their mark on world badminton? I know they've played well in the past, but on home event, this would be terrific. It would be terrific, and I think uh, all four pairs in uh, that lower half of the draw have got their eyes on uh, the spot in the final. Yep. Well, here come the home favourites. Tom Shikel and Delphine Del Rue. In only their second appearance. At their home event, their first quarter final. Silver medalists at the European Championships in Madrid earlier this year but do not underestimate their opponents. I've watched this young Indonesian pair previously, and I was very impressed. Rehan Kusharianto and Lisa Kusumawati. Already been in two finals this year, the young Indonesian pair, the Orléans Masters, that was a 100 event, and the Vietnam Open, that was also a 100 event. So not actually part of the HSBC BWF World Tour. Well, this will be a second meeting okay. between these two pairs, and the only previous Online. time has been won by the Indonesians. That was at the quarterfinal stage of this year's Swiss Super 300 event. Two straight games. So the toss of the coin, and Steen just 
tell us what happened with that? Who won the toss? Who yeah. chose what? Well, the Indonesians won the um, coin toss, but um, I'm not sure whether they elected to serve or to receive. We'll see that, but they didn't choose sides, and um, that, they did the ruin. Uh, she killed it. So Tom Shikel is 23 years of age, born in Tours, in West Central France. They're currently enjoying their fourth consecutive week at their career high of number seven. Lost in the first round, the first time that they played their home event, which was in 2019. We didn't have a French Open in 2020. And sadly, last year, when they were the number six seeds, they had to withdraw due to injury. Well, here this year, they beat Li Jiafei and Su Ching of Chinese Taipei in the opening round. Then Li Chunhei and Im Si Yao of Hong Kong, China. Very tight second game. They were actually 13-6 up and only one on their fifth match point opportunity. So Rehan Kushyarayanto is 22 years of age from Bakasi in West Java. Well, I find that difficult to believe, Steen. 180, that's five foot eleven. He's never five foot eleven, is he? I doubt it as well. Yeah. Well his partner. Lisa Kusumawati is also 22 years of age from Sleiman in the Yogyakarta region in southern Java. They are playing their first French Open and uh, they beat last week's semi finalists, Yosun Kwat and Siobhan Jamie Lai, in the first round. Then beat the Commonwealth Games gold medalists, Terry He and Jessica Tan, the married couple from Singapore. Needed three games there. Christian Hedelund of Denmark is our umpire for this one. And the service judge, Lauro, from Greece. Well, I called this young Indonesian pair in the World Championships, I remember, of last year, I think it was, in Huelva. And then I thought they were hugely talented. Of course, Arihan Kusharianto is the son of Tri Kusharianto, the silver medalist in the mixed doubles discipline at the 2000 Olympic Games in Sydney when he was playing with Minati Timor. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Rihan Abo Kuzayanto, Lisa Ayak Kuzamavati, Indonesia. <laughs> On my left, Tam Seguel, Delphine Delroux, France. Delphine Delors to serve. Rihanna Nassau, Kujayansu. Double play. Just wide. Well, when I watched Kujayansu previously, I thought how I like his father was exactly. not just in stature but in in the way he plays great skills was expect the unexpected points. <laughs> Steve, would it be fair comment for me to say that the French combination players sort of 
old-fashioned classical type of mixed doubles? It definitely would. It definitely would. I um, much enjoy watching them play um, because I feel that uh, they are like you say, sort of like the old-fashioned mixed doubles style with um, a female player very sharp and alert at the net. She can play from the backcourt as well, of course she can, um, Delphine Delroy. And uh, Tom Schickel, a um, mixed doubles player with some skills that um, we haven't seen that much of for a while. The ability to play from below the tape, the great touch, the um, awareness of the uh, gaps on the front court. Yeah. Good angle on the smash. And it was a sort of half pace really, wasn't it? I think that to see Delphine Del Rue. Concerned of uh, the obvious injury problems to the young Indonesians. For Sumawati, big strapping on her right knee. Usharianto got his right thigh or hamstring heavily strapped. That's not a good sign for youngsters, is it? No, but um, oh! they're going to have to work really, really hard. Oh. They are. Oh. Not the tallest of athletes, and um, thinking about that 180 that um, he's listed as uh, Kushayanto, that, that's ridiculous. I think he's maximum five centimeters taller than his partner, and I think his dad was 166 or something like that. Mm. Oh, oh, a oh, serve. Great tumble serve by the Sumawati. Nova Wudianto. Actually won this its doubles title with Liliana Natsir back in 2009. Hey. You were at the Swiss Open. Steen, do you remember these two pairs playing against each other? Uh, it, was, it was the quarterfinal. I'm not sure I saw the entirety of the match, but I remember I, um, Six, five. I noticed Kushayanto also because I truly enjoyed his father uh, watching him play, except when he played Danish players. <laughs> uh, yeah, he was great to watch. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, that's brilliant play by Delphine Del Rue. She senses that it's going to be a cross. Perfect Eight. defense and Four. then uh, moving, covering the cross. That's brilliant play. Change. This is fabulous. What a rally! 
Fans appreciate the good play in that rally, even though the French pair didn't win the point. Oh, that's brilliant. That's fabulous play from GK. He's really moved uh, forward there, overcoming the front court. that the number six seeds from France, Tom Giquel and Delphine Del Roux, have a five-point advantage here in the game in front of the opening game. But not too many times. We need push and block. Okay? Yes. We're really good when, they, when we got high lifts. We can put some angles. Really good like this. But as long as you keep being really high on court, it's fine. The returning game is key. Yeah. We've had a good run. When you play the side soft one, yeah. rather than trying to push it, because the spinning is so uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, it's hard, and then they get into the 50-50. Yeah. Yeah. So just play that underneath the side. Yeah. Until she rushes it, yeah. it's, it's second. Okay, keep going. Come on, play. Okay. Discipline, come on. French coaches, Baptiste Carren and Peter Jeffrey. Yeah, they would noticed about the tumble serve as well, saying yeah. trying not to push it, just Six. try and chop underneath it and play, play the net shot return. But interesting situation here, but he's Karim. Spoke English. Yeah, they were doing that yesterday. It's great for us, isn't it? Yeah. Oh! But, uh, Seven. Seven. Speaking English, so that Eleven. Jeffrey could follow. Yeah. The uh, conversation. And in sharp situations. Oh, there's this tumble serve again. Yeah. And they did what Peter Jeffrey had suggested, well, which was seven. a net shot reply rather than trying to push it. In sharp situations, I would rather speak Danish to a Danish player than I would speak English to an, a, a Danish player. Yeah. Because uh, it can be tough enough to uh, convey the right messages, and um, doing it in a second language removes well judged some uh, delicacies hey. in the uh, speech and some ease of um, speech. Doing it through a third language, that's even more difficult. There's also coaches doing that. Interesting phase here over the next three, four rallies to see what um, the Indonesians have done to uh, sort of adjust. It's been the French who's had most out of uh, previous matches and videos and so on. I would suggest. Ten, twelve. Good 
return of serve. Counched on that. 13, 10. Nice shot. shot. That was a wonderful play from Delphine Delroy. That was the one that did the damage, wasn't it? Well, she still had to finish it off. That's the beauty. Thank you. Discussion going on between Kuzmovati and uh, Kushayanto. Outside the picture. Oh. Yeah. So it's over. Straight lift from. Delroo really invited the smash on herself. I'm not sure that was the wisest thing. Here, if she'd lifted cross courts. Yeah, that was a strange lift, giving yeah. a lot of time. I can understand the time, as they probably don't want to, to jump into the smashes. Another good serve from Kusuma Wati. That's a, that's a problem area when uh, Delphine Dori is targeted 14. in the uh, right hand field. Hesitating, both thinking the other was going to play it. Some situations for the Indonesians when uh, Kusumawati is uh, on the back court. I think Delphine uh, Delroy and Chumshikil, they played that situation magnificently so far. Over. 
Thirteen, nineteen. Good flick. Brilliant. Yeah, yeah, so she should be pleased with that. Kusumawati. She simply can't get it away from herself, Dauphine de Rui. You see how much Kusumawati is uh, packing, moving towards the uh, left sideline. All to the right side of the court is open, but. Uh, Delvinduri can't get it there. It's game point opportunities for Chiquel and Del Rue. 20, game point 14. That's a lovely shot from Chiquel. <laughs> Opening game to the home favourites, Tom Chiquel and Delphine Del Rue. Santa Cruz, Delphine Del Rue, 21-14. 21-14 confirms the umpire. 18 minutes only for the opening game. มาเล่นดันกระปั้นเชิงหันนะเดี๋ยวนี้ก็มาเอาสิ่งที่เราสิ่งที่เราสิ่งที่เราสิ่งที่เราสิ่งที่เราสิ่งที่เราสิ่ง
So from an Indonesian perspective, they've got that um, situation with um, the route in the uh, right-hand side of the court, but uh, it's probably not enough. They've got to find out how to solve being uh, below the tape, because uh, Jekyll and Del Rio have been very good at making them play from below the tape. Again, pushing forward there, Tom Shikel. She tried to go uh, forehand. Oh. There were, it's definitely um, one of the possibilities. play targeting Kusumavati and she's done brilliantly in the situations where she's had to move herself forward Delphine Dore nice block oh delightful that's over and who do you think he learned that Four, one from three <laughs> no one with the answer <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was that's 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 shot. dad's shot all the way, isn't it? Lovely. Oh. I love it. Oh, yeah, that was going wide, I think. That certainly has. Four. Oh, change. Change. The question is whether we have a situation just like in the women's doubles that finished session one, where uh, Tanantina defeated Matsuyama and Shida, where it was the far side of the court who was actually the better side because you could lift and play the full court with confidence. You didn't have to think too much about um, playing the back line. And perfect That's example over. here by uh, yeah. Five, Four. A pity. That was another very disguised shot from Kusharyanko. Oh. This one. It was almost a, a double action. It's, it's a double action. It's, it's a double incredible. action. It just goes so quick. Even if we're sitting at ground level, it's difficult to see it. And we are sitting at ground level. Yeah.
That's where he's, in my opinion, more skillful than the other top European uh, male mixed doubles players. I'm not saying he's better. I'm just saying that the midcourt area. That is over. What, what's going on with those angles? Get a strapping on them. This is only a matter of time before this goes Avery. See, that's the same yeah. again. Yeah. First of all, a strapping. And then also... Um, Specialist in terms of uh, shoes. Because, I mean, this could go terribly wrong if she rolls her angle yeah. up to a big event. Six, seven. And now it's been both the right and the left foot. That's a good serve again, yeah. another tumble. Job of getting the Indonesians to play from below the tape. Five of the last six points. Hey. Oh. Yeah. Is over. Good smash from Kusha Arianto. Seven, nine. targeting Deroy throughout the match. If he's playing a couple of shots towards Tom Shikel, it's just bluff. Lovely, lovely touch at the net from Delroy. Ten, seven. for the Indonesians because um, they were totally red by Tom Shikel. Two-time world champion, apart from winning the French Open. Nine, ten. Coach Nova Woodyanto. Yeah. Olympic silver. And Olympic silver in Beijing. Yeah. Uh, he knew how to play. Good play from Kusuma Wati. Um, oh. Also, the lead up to it where they make the court big. Play Chung Shikil all the way in the backhand corner. Oh. 
Oh, that's a good shot. Oh, that's even better. That yeah. is fantastic. From Kusharianto. What a shot. And from 7-10 down, four straight points to go into the lead at the mid-game interval. It's actually one of the uh, few times I feel that the uh, overhead camera has been uh, working well here, where you can see how much room there was between Tom Shikel at the backhand corner and um, Delphine Delray. So that's going to be a thing to solve for the French here. 11, 10, play. My goodness me, it's five straight points now. 12, 10. It's a challenge here from Gikel. You've got very good sight of that line, Steen, and you obviously thought that it landed in. Yeah, I, I think it landed in. That would have been my call from uh, the position here, but um, I wouldn't bet anything on it. Kusumarati. Well, all 11. the way to the top of the tape. Yeah, and what I like about her net play is that she has a very short, sharp movement of yes. the racket head. That's a great serve. Yeah. My goodness me, they've turned this around, the Indonesians. 14, 11. Seven of the last eight points. Understanding of the rule, there's no room for discussion between each rally. It must be continuous. Yeah. Absolutely fabulous. 16, 11. Nine of the last ten points to the Indonesians. From seven, ten down. And 
simply nothing on the return of serve, was there? No pressure applied. Ten of the last 11 points. I think about the first coaching we heard from um, Patrice Karim and Pete Jeffrey saying, play it below the tape in the sides. Where, where's that gone? had thought the rally was run. She gave up on the rally. She thought the rally had already been won. But I thought so too. She was blocking my side. I said, what, what's going on? The shuttle is coming back. That that's the one. That's amazing. That one. What great defence from Kasuma Wati. In the end, to no avail, but, oh, goodness. Seventeen. Yeah. So it's a turn again to the long backhand of um, Tom Shikel. the first 19, female players yes. we've seen use this tumble serve and she plays it extremely well. And, and there's just one thing here and that is if you don't serve the tumble serve then you've got to do it otherwise it will be at a deficit against your opponents and doubles in um, a year's time. Good flick. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. How does it get from side to side 30. so quickly? That's unbelievable. Yeah. Game point opportunities. judge on the sideline didn't make a call. the umpire. And um, one game all. 41 minutes into the match. And it will come down to a third and deciding game. To go over. Okay? It was too, many, too much in between games. So you allowed him to step forward. Okay, we need to go back. If you're too low, just go over. You defend really well. As long as you have the good height and the good length, it's okay. And we step forward in that. Defense. Exactly. Now when you lift the forehand, don't wait back. Play the first one, he wants to stop drop. Yeah, we must stay up the court. So the game got very squashed. 
Yeah. Yeah. So that we're trying to find a smaller and smaller yeah. space in the midcourt and it's not there. Yeah. Yeah. But we also know at the start of the rally they're not lifting. Yeah. So we have to be really, really high on the net to get the brush and then right behind them. Yeah. And then when you're this early, then you can do the overs. You had two rallies where you went over and it was perfect. Yeah. But we have to do it from a high position. Yeah. yeah. So that you can be patient. Yeah. Okay. Sometimes when you know you don't have the choice. We have scored a lot of points by being in defense for two yeah. shots. It's, it's okay. Relaxed, high lift, it's okay. And now it's about battling. Yeah, exactly. We just battle every point. Yeah. Yeah. We want it more than them. We fight for every round. Yeah. yeah. And make yourself tough to beat. Okay? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Okay. Let's Come on. Let's go. go. Over and stay uh, active. Come on. Active. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. So what a quarter-final this is turning out to be. One game all. No French-born players have ever been in a semi-final of the French Open since the inception of the Super Series and now World Tour. Wow. I just looked at if anybody had won it in mixed doubles, but... Uh... No, the only player representing France, Pi Hong Yan, one, no. Runner-up of the women's singles in 2007. She was also a semi-finalist in 2009. But she wasn't born in France. No. Born in China. during the two-minute timeout between the first and or between the second and third game. Just recap on what the French coaching staff were saying to Jiquel and Del. Uh, Del we were basically saying that they needed to be more patient and if um, the chance was gone, they would um, be perfectly fine to uh, to lift it. And um, I think also they... Uh, oh, my goodness! Oh. What a rally! Brilliant! Oh, the disguise drop once again from Pusharianto. And Pusharianto, she was satisfied with that shot. Thumbs up to her partner. Extraordinary exchange. And a rally like that is going to give the Indonesians a lot of confidence. And the opposite to the French pair are going to think, what have we got to do to win a rally? Situation playing it past uh, Kusunovati and uh, in between the two uh, Indonesian players. Um, and I, I definitely do agree about the um, patience thing, or at least the variation part of it, that they, they need to make the court big as well, just as the Indonesians did. Um, I'm not totally agreeing that Three. their defense is uh, safe and sound, but. I don't know if the coaches um, sometimes. I mean, you, you can't really say that <laughs> when uh, when in the coaching situation. Listen up, uh, your defense is in trouble. You've got, you've got to um, you've encourage. Got to, you've got to encourage them. Yeah. And then there was this about the battle. And of course, there's a battle, but I think to me it's more about discipline. They've got to be extremely disciplined because otherwise. Uh, the speed of Pusarianto uh, is intimidating. Uh, yes. If you are a little bit off your your um, game plan.
good shot. Oh, oh that's a beauty. Clever, clever. Clever. Tom Ducal. The punch clear, disguise clear across court. She was not expecting that at all. Look at that. Played to perfection. Well, that's a super important rally because I think that might be the solution to the long backhand from uh, Tom Schickel. Not playing it aggressively, just playing it 50 50. Clears drop shots. And then again, overcovering the mid court area. Going wide. This is amazing uh, mixed doubles play. Oh. That is amazing. back the net court. That one. Good world to react to it. I think actually we are able to appreciate these mixed double shots a bit more since we are here in uh, height with the net, so to speak. Five, so oh. we don't have this um, view from up above um, the court. That was the longest rally so far, that last one. that perhaps not the best of flip serves though was it well, the Indonesians are being caught out with that earlier in the match six. the shot in between the two players this time Five, seven, it was the six. French that best both left it for the other yeah.
right selection of shot from uh, Chappelle. Execution left a bit. I'm a slightly concerned Nine, about the body six. language of Tom Jukel yes, as well. Me too. It looks like he, uh, he's running out of ideas. And running out of belief too. Yep. Needs to pull himself together. Next couple of rallies, very, very important as far as the French pair are concerned. Six. Oh! Wow. He hardly touched that, and that went wrong at the back line. Exactly. Seven, nine. Ten, Definitely the right idea. Eleven eight interval change end. Well, the call was wide. The umpire checking that they didn't want to challenge. Of course, they didn't want to challenge. Chopper was out. So a three-point advantage to the Indonesians in this final game. So the umpire confirms that it's 11-8 as we resume Palais. That's wide. Do you have any thoughts, Dean, on what the French pair should be doing right now? Well, I think it's difficult because um, <clears throat> they've um, 
They haven't started well on the uh, bad side. So, um, oh, on, on the good side, I beg your pardon. So now they're playing the bad side here, and that was where they needed more patience. Um, that's well. It's fast paced. Good shots. He's really good at sort of injecting pace. Kushanianto. Brilliant. That's okay. Absolutely fabulous. What a terrific rally. Yeah, her shoulder strapping's coming off, I think. So ne they never had a, a moment at peace, uh, the French pair, to sort of uh, regroup. And um, I'm getting this wild thought that um, a lot of the rallies, it's uh, pushing on to with almost all the shots. And um, Kusumabati doing well, tending the net, uh, playing good shots whenever she's targeted. But they, the French pair doesn't get enough out of targeting um, Kusumavati, in my opinion, so I think maybe, just maybe it's possible to uh, let Derrick take up the challenge against uh, Kusumavati in some sort of um, half-court women's doubles with uh, Shikel at the front. He's a very fine men's doubles player. He can play the front court. They've not succeeded in getting, getting their attack through and, and getting sort of... Uh, Nice and calm shots. And he's always on the move, Chappelle, when he uh, plays from the backcourt at the moment. Nine. It's probably not doable because it would need a lot of uh, practice and rehearsal, but, um, but they don't get the initiative and, and control over the rallies. They're constantly on the move. Well, I think the Sumawati at the front of the court has taken complete control, and I think that's had a big effect on this match. It has. It has. And I, I don't think... I think in the, in the first game that it could match her, I don't think she can anymore. No. It's gone long. And now it's a very, very slim chance because they've got this six point cushion, uh, Kusumawati and uh, Kusarianto. So they've done really well, the Indonesians, because they've got the game going on their conditions. Nice drop. Yeah, the disguise on the drop shot from Kusharianto. Absolutely brilliant. For those of us that remember his father playing, it's almost like going back in time, isn't it? He's so similar in style. We're approaching the point of now or never, as far as the French pair are concerned. They have to start closing down this gap. He should take the risk of going to the net. Look, he's hovering, hovering, ready to pounce. And there was one occasion earlier as well where he didn't cover well enough, but um, let's see.
right? He takes it. That was amazing. Maybe that inspirational shot is just what the French pair needed. Give themselves the belief once more. Yeah. That's well done. Four straight points to the European Championship silver medalists. Well, it's the Indonesian pair that have called for the medic. Yeah, it's the shoulder of um, Kusumo Arti. Well, an awful lot of the strapping actually came loose, so that perhaps aggravated the problem. Fortuitous moment, though, when the French pair were on a run of four straight points on a bit of a roll. So all of a sudden, it's believable again. Three points in it. Good shot. Now that's the way they played in the first game. Chikola and Bellu, controlling the rallies and being patient. Just two right. points the deficit now. Ah, oh, that was well played from Kasumawati. service error of the entire match. <laughs> Too fast, it's gone long. A three-point advantage. And three points away from winning this third and deciding game. Sharianto and Kusumawati. That's fabulous. What a shot from Kusumawati. She's been outstanding today. Well, they both have. Two points away from the first ever semi-final at a Super 500 or above tournament for the Indonesians. That was good, Mike. 
match point opportunities. 20, match point 15. This was their first quarter final. They're on the verge of their first ever semi final at this level of tournament. Well, half of Five match points for the Indonesians. have beaten the number six seeds from France, Tom Schickel and Delphine Delro in three thrilling games. Yeah, there's no way is Fulciarianto 180. <laughs> That's what we are conducive to this match. Seeing him next to Tom Schickel, <laughs> who's only 186, certainly more than six centimetres difference. But what a performance by the Indonesian youngsters, Steve. That was brilliant. Yeah, uh, fantastic comeback, and they, they can't stop laughing. 21-17 <laughs> in the deciding game. What a match. An hour and ten minutes of thrilling Mabinton. Disappointment, of course, for the home fans and for Jikel and Del Roo. But quite simply, they were beaten by a better pair today. The Indonesians. Inspirational in some of their play. And do you know what? When the last time I commentated on the Indonesians, I said they had a lot of talent. And I was very impressed with them then. I'm even more impressed after today's performance. I think they've improved in the... Well, it's less than a year since the last World Championships in Huelva. We've had a World Championship since. I don't think I called their match there. That clearly landed in. There was no point challenging that inside edge of the back line. So, the moment of victory. <laughs> Seems yeah. to his knees. He and worked that, hard. He did work hard. Marvellous performance. 14 21, 21 15, 21 17 in the deciding game in a match lasting an hour and 10 minutes. So it's Kusharianto and Kasuma Wati in the semi final tomorrow.
Welcome back to Stade Pierre de Coubertin here in Paris. It's quarterfinals day at the Yonex French Open. Well, after that thrilling mixed doubles, we turn our attention to singles. And next up is the first of two men's singles in this evening's session. It's Kodai Naraoka of Japan up against the beaten finalist from three years ago, Jonathan.